Three alarm fire this morning in Dundalk now has three families looking for a new place to call home. Fire crews faced challenges while battling the massive blaze this morning. WJZ is live tonight in Dundalk. Amy Yancey has the very latest. Amy. Well, Jonathan, that fire has been out for a few hours now, but the air still smells like burning wood. Now, it's hard to see because it's so dark, but one of the three houses that were damaged uh, has some patchwork from repair crews that were here earlier in the evening. The two others are completely destroyed, and on this very cold night, three families are out of their homes. The first calls for help came just before 1030 Sunday morning. When firefighters got to High Shire Court, the flames and smoke were rising. They had heavy, heavy fire conditions, so that indicates that the fire probably spread pretty rapidly. The fast-moving fire started in one house, jumped to three alarms, and spread to two other homes. Crews poured water onto all three burning structures. The wet surfaces quickly froze over in the low temperatures, creating a safety hazard for firefighters. Though they worked for hours to contain the flames, the damage was done. I, I was out here when the porch collapsed, and we went to go get the car when the roof collapsed. So I, I missed that part, but I wanted, I wanted to double check to make sure nobody was injured. We're told the people who live in the houses were home at the time, but they all escaped and managed to save their pets from the flame. The closeness of the row homes may have made the fire more destructive. Because there is a common attic space uh, that connects all of these row homes, the fire was able to get up inside of that before crews got here and made its way across that space into two additional dwellings. Back here live, you're looking at the three houses in question. You can see the aftermath of those houses being so close together. The two corner homes basically completely destroyed. A third uh, to the left of them, not so bad, but still patched up tonight. The cause of the fire is under investigation. We're live in Dundalk. I'm Amy NC reporting for WJZ. Back to you. Yeah, glad no one was hurt in this. Amy, thanks so much. There were no injuries reported in this fire.